Then a month after retiring as Tennessee's lieutenant governor, Ron Ramsey was honored today in the Tri-Cities with an official proclamation. They even declared it Ron Ramsey Day in Johnson City, Jonesboro, and Washington County. Yeah, News Channel 11's Jordan Moore was there and found out while he may no longer hold a top spot in Tennessee state government, he has plans to stay involved both in Nashville and in Northeast Tennessee. Josh Shera, when I spoke to Ramsey this morning, it sounds like he's not slowing down anytime soon. We discussed everything from his plans to stay involved with his auction business and even the fact that he's looking into consulting in Nashville. But before that, he will be in the state's capital next week for yet another potential job as Ramsey looks to be confirmed as a member of ETSU's brand new local governing board. The start of 2017 marked a new chapter for the now former lieutenant governor of the state of Tennessee. As Ron Ramsey closed the door on a 24 year long political career. Thank you very much. But as leaders in the Tri Cities acknowledged Ramsey for what he's accomplished, he made it clear there's still more work to do. I'm tickled to death to be on the ATSU Governing Board. Now next week, I will be in Nashville to be confirmed, as all, all the board members are. Already gearing up for another position on a brand new local governing board for East Tennessee State University, a board intended to provide focused support for this region's needs. The curriculum, the, the things like the Performing Arts Center here to make sure we get that built. And a board that could have a hand in whether they want to participate in the governor's outsourcing plan that would privatize maintenance work on public college campuses. But I'm not going to rule that out right now. I mean, obviously, I want to make sure we keep the good people we have at ETSU, but our job is to make sure I take taxpayer dollars, spend them as wisely and as efficiently as possible. But that's not the end of Ramsey's to-do list. There are several groups that have asked me to come on board with them and uh, for, for a salaried position to help uh, Consult telling us that he could even play a role in the future of health care in our region if the pending merger between Mountain States and Wellmont is approved. And when that happens, I, I expect they've asked me if I'll be uh, help them on their consulting in, in Nashville to make sure any their needs are met. Jordan Moore, News Channel 11, in your corner. The Tennessee State Senate will be in charge of confirming Governor Haslam's appointees. He will be in Nashville, Ramsey, that is, next Wednesday, February 1st, for that confirmation hearing to be a member of ETSU's governing board.